Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay, and uh, we're, we're, I'm here with a uh, another pre-ISE video cast, and I'm going to introduce you to a guy who you may not have met before, and a company you may not have heard of before, but I can guarantee you that you won't be able to say that by the end of the year. Um, Andrew Gross is joining me. He's a VP of sales from a company called Excite, spelled X-Y-T-E, and you can find them at xyte.io. Uh, Andrew, uh, first off, congratulations. I just talked to your CEO. Um, and, uh, we talked about your $30 million, uh, investment round. Congratulations on that. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know, since $30 million, it isn't just, uh, for us to go out there and brag about, but also to start to bolster a lot of our internal resources for our customers, which is great. Yeah. And, and truth is, you know, the, the high likelihood that nobody watches my video casts and, and is, is heading to ISE, uh, virtually nobody knows who Excite is. Um, I'm here to change that in 2024 because I'm really excited about your platform, um, and the reason for that is for uh, six, seven, eight years, I've been writing and talking about how our industry needs to get more service centered. And y'all have provided two big parts of that service pie. One is an AV as a service model so that anyone can sell systems as a service. And the second is uh, a global uh, single pane of glass management system uh, platform, or an ecosystem that you've created. And both of those will be on display at ISC. Now you're in Hall 5 in J620, so 5J620. Um, you're a software company, so you're not going to show a bunch of hardware. And it's going to be a little hard for you because our industry is not great at selling software. But what you've done is you've kind of taken software and created a hardware package out of it by, like, by saying, look, sell stuff the way you normally sell stuff. We're just going to help you refinance it a different way in a way. But we're also going to add a lot of services on top of that that makes you more profitable. Yeah, it's it's finally in, in my view, you know, as as maybe some that are watching this know, you know, I've been in the AV industry for over a decade and I've seen it changed from, you know, the AV world to the IT world as well. But I think we're finally now seeing that third transition into this software and services world where the hardware is simply just a medium to deliver better features, better software, better services, better outcomes for customers. Because as hardware manufacturers, which I was at for a long time in this AV space, can't simply just make another better black box. You have to do more with it. You have to do more than just change the color, change the inputs and the outputs. And what we believe as a software company is that working with us, you finally can do that at a lot lower cost, at a lot uh, less resource strain on your already incredible hardware engineering team, and ideally get to market a lot quicker. So you didn't have to build this from scratch on your own. Yeah. So what has to, what are the steps? Like, uh, you know, and, and I don't want to get too much into this because I, I want people to come to your booth at ISC and I want them to see, cause you're introducing a new feature, a new, new, uh, platform feature, but what's the steps? Like, do we need to wait until all the manufacturers adopt it or can integrators start doing this now? Like what, how should they engage with you and, and everyone who's going to come to ISC, what should they know? So the majority of the first initial steps with Excite is an OEM, a manufacturer, working directly with us, embedding a couple API calls in their device's firmware, and it's immediately Excite connected. Like that is really the initial step. Once you're Excite connected, now the OEM and their value chain, right, the dealers, the integrators, the service providers, and the enterprise IT managers and directors at your end customers can then start to do things that the tools of Excite start to open up once the manufacturer is connected. That's like a very typical starting point. What we're launching at ISC, Gary, is, is for the first time, because we, today we already have a bunch of OEMs actually that are working with us. And you'll see a bunch of them at the show showcasing their Excite connected portal. But now what we're doing is we're putting a focus on that second part of the chain, the dealer. Is It's great that an OEM is connected. It's great that I, I, my PDU, my AV over IP box is now Excite connected for cloud monitoring, cloud management, and ideally in the future as a service enablement. But now we're launching tools through a feature called Excite Connect that is going to allow the dealer to do more with that cloud, to be able to service and support customers and the hardware that is Excite Connected a lot better than they were previously. And, and, and the way I look at this is um, some brands have had this for their own equipment. What you're providing is the ability to do that with any brand's equipment through the same user interface. Yeah, it's it's the single pane of glass that we've been talking about at a couple Infocoms and ISC, but now a single pane of glass that is the foundation for this fabric of multiple manufacturers to multiple dealers to multiple customers. Because that's right. always been kind of like the, the difficult web to navigate was 
you know, an enterprise IT decision maker at any Fortune 500 company is not going to simply buy one manufacturer's gear. It doesn't occur in this space, right? One conference room could include up to 10 different manufacturers and potentially even multiple installers and dealers and integrators. So how do we get all of these people working together? That's the new feature that we're launching at ISA. Okay. You definitely need to go by there and see it. I, I have a logical question that pops in my head. So since you're able to do this, why couldn't we, using the same platform eventually, also control the printers, also control all the other stuff in the building too, not just the AV gear? Couldn't this be expanded to control pretty much anything that's connected to the network in the the office, HVAC, everything? Anything that has a network connection and anything that is a child device of a device that has a network connection can be Excite connected. I mean, we're actually already, I mean, I know this is outside of AV space, but it's interesting because it's part of the enterprise world. We've got coffee machines that are connected to the Excite ecosystem. We do have some printers. We even have, which we maybe won't find an enterprise office, we have a, a quantum computing testing machine today that is connected to the Excite ecosystem that can be monitored and managed next to the printer that is right aside it. So yeah, yeah, to your point, anything network connected. So the nice thing about this is if integrators will, will move this direction, it will open their service offerings up beyond AV and allow them to kind of go in different segments of the market or kind of test like security, for example, and HVAC and things like that. It's finally a tool. It'll it'll help them diversify their own business from not just a services standpoint, but even a software standpoint. So that I almost wish it was three years from today because I believe this is going to be a big deal. Uh, It's just going to take a bit of time for people to realize. And the, the problem is everyone is so busy. And so I need to get their attention. I need to say, hey, you know, there's a reason why we're excited about this because, uh, you know, I understand you're really busy and I understand you're using, used to selling and installing hardware, but there's such a, an incredible opportunity with what you're offering here. I'm, I'm really excited about it. I hope that people do come by your booth. I know you got a lot of work ahead of you, though. We, we sure do. It's, it's not even just uh, uh, work at the booth itself, but it, it's you know, every time that we work with an OEM or a manufacturer in this AV space, we're constantly learning and changing. And and that's kind of even where this new feature of Excite Connect came about was these manufacturers came to us and said, we don't sell direct to customers. We need our cloud in the hands of our dealers to be able to see their multiple customers. And so we created this new feature and that's just one of many to come. Yeah. And you're right. I mean, it's more than just what's going to happen at ISC, but I'm excited for you. If you want to learn more, go to Excite dot io x y t e dot io and of course definitely go by their booth again they're in hall 5j620 uh andrew thank you very much for joining me today um we're going to link all this in the description but also um uh, for those of you who are not going to isc go ahead and check out their website and set up a demo because I, i have to say andrew you do a really good job doing demos i watched one of the recent demos that you did and i thought i thought you really you're, you do a really good job thanks gary appreciate that. yeah th- i like your analogy with you know, and I guess it probably should be mentioned here too, is that like, you know, what you're trying to do on a, on a much different kind of scale is kind of what Apple did with the, with the phone is you, instead of thinking about buying everything up front, you know, bundle it as services and continue to upgrade it. And I think the end user is going to love that. And I think that might be the way we get the integrators to accept it is to get enough end users to demand it. Uh, and so that, that it's going to be interesting because you could have a multi-pronged approach to to getting an adoption of this, but uh, it'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. I'm excited for you and congratulations on your funding, $30 million. Uh, so congratulations. Check out Excite, xyte.io. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks, Gary. Appreciate it. And, and all of our ISE coverage is at raypubs.com slash ISE. Ray, Ray, Ray. With Ray.